Let's prepare on the TNTRB Polytechnic exam 2012 Civil Engineering question paper. Question 81. In which mode of shear failure all the three zones of failure develops fully? So here option C is the right answer that is general shear failure. Okay, the next lower category is the local shear failure and after that comes your punching shear failure. Okay, and the next 82 is immediate settlement of cohesion less soils are given by. So they have asked the formula here. So here option A is the right answer and we have studied this formula in the consolidation chapter and we will be having some constant value for this I influence factor and all no. So if you want you can just revise that. Question 83. For the pile group shown in the figure, the efficiency of the pile group determined by the Fels rule is what? So before going into this, let us see what is Fels rule. So it is the efficiency of the group pile get reduced by 1 by 16th of number of contact with the adjacent piles and hence it is known as 1 by 16th rule also okay so here they are telling that uh, if there how many number of adjacent piles are there so it only determines the reduction in the efficiency okay so here if let us take this corner so this pile is having three piles adjacent to it that is this is one this is two and this is three so it is having three numbers adjacent to it so it should be multiplied by 3 into 1 by 16 so this much efficiency has to be reduced from that piles efficiency okay so first of all let us keep the piles efficiency as 1 that is a constant 1 or 100 like that you can keep so for here 5 numbers is there so there will be 5 so this will be your total efficiency so now the efficiency reduces with respect to the adjacent pile so that reduction you have to apply and find the reduced efficiency now okay so when you see the uh, solution you will be getting clear so if you see here as i told these uh, edge pile is having three piles adjacent to it and the similar will be for this also one two and three and this also it has three and this also it has three so all the four edge piles will be having three uh, piles adjacent to it but the center pile is ha alone having four piles adjacent to it because it can be connected like this to all the four piles okay so let us take uh, the number of contactors three for all other piles and for the center pile let us take it as four okay so first we are going to do for this uh, outer piles out of four piles are there no so for that how much reduction is happening like that let us take i am taking for just one pile alone and then i will multiply it for four okay so one minus three by sixteen because it is having three number of piles adjacent to it so three by sixteen so it will give you thirteen by sixteen so this thirteen by sixteen is the efficiency for the all the four piles at the outer surface okay for now we can find for the center pile so center pile is having four numbers of pile adjacent to it so it is 1 minus 4 by 16 so you will get 12 by 16 so now we can find the efficiency for the group of the pile so here i am multiplying the number 4 into 13 by 16 and 1 into 12 by 16 divided by the whole number whole number is 5 as i told before no so 5 so you will get 0.8 so 80 percent is your efficiency so here option A is the right answer. Then question 84. The piles which are used to protect waterfront structures against the impacts of the floating objects is what? So here option C. Fender pile is the right answer. Question 85. When the natural state of the cohesionless soil is in its loosest state from then, then the relative density will be equal to what? So we have already see, uh, studied this relative density. The formula for relative density is E max minus E by E max minus E minimum. Okay, so here they have asked for the loosest form. So loosest form means E will be equal to E max. So E max minus E max by E max minus E minimum will be automatically 0 only. So here the answer is 0. Okay. And question 86, lacquer strain soils or the soils deposited in the 
leg bed so option d is the right answer so all these topics we have already seen in the starting lectures of the soil mechanics okay so then we can see answer for this also that is transported by rivers and streams means it is called as alluvial soil and if it is transported by glaciers means we call it as glacier or drift or till or outwash so all these names can be called and deposited in the sea beds means we call it as marine or mal okay and then question 87 consistency as applied to cohesive soils is an indicator of its what so here the consistency is an indicator of the shear strength option c and then question 88 specific surface of a soil particle having particle size d is given by 6 by d so option c question 89 a flow net is drawn to obtain so normally we have studied uh, three properties or three uses of flow net which can be uh, derived from the flow nets no so that is only the answer here option c exit gradient uplift pressure and seepage quantity so all these three you can find out from the flow nets and question 90 which one of the following planes is not mostly likely to be the failure plane in the sandy soil so here option d that is the planes with maximum angle of obliquity thank you and keep watching